Ways to navigate a relationship after an affair. These tips will help you out immensely. After infidelity occurs in a relationship, it becomes challenging to reverse the damage. There's much at risk, including the betrayal of trust and loyalty, which are fundamental to any partnership. Thus, despite sincere efforts, repairing these ruptures proves immensely difficult. Navigating a relationship post-infidelity feels akin to tiptoeing through a minefield, it's draining and demanding. Nevertheless, many individuals are willing to grant their unfaithful partners a second opportunity. Therefore, we've outlined several strategies for navigating a relationship following an affair. 1. Accountability. When you've been unfaithful to your partner, it's essential to acknowledge your actions and take full responsibility. Your partner deserves to hear a sincere apology from you. Taking ownership of your mistake is an important initial move in repairing the fractured relationship. 2. Take your time. If either you or your partner has engaged in infidelity, it's crucial to allocate time for healing. Carve out moments of solitude to reflect on the mistakes made and allow yourself to heal from them. This step is indispensable for progressing forward in the relationship. 3. Build trust again. This is exceptionally challenging because once trust is shattered, it's not easily restored. Rebuilding trust after infidelity requires dedicating all your time, energy, and efforts. You must demonstrate to your partner a genuine commitment to rebuilding faith and trust within the relationship. 4. Professional help. Seek guidance from professional relationship or marriage counselors if you find yourself uncertain about your next course of action. They can provide valuable insights to steer you in the right direction, whether it involves salvaging the relationship or liberating yourself from its burdens. 5. Practice transparency. You must be entirely open and transparent about your feelings with your partner. There's no room for hesitation, as it's essential to facilitate your partner's trust in you once more. Honest communication serves as the cornerstone for maintaining any relationship, regardless of its current state, be it thriving or on the verge of dissolution. 5 Reasons Why People Lie Even When They Don't Have To Why do people lie? At some point in our lives, we all resort to falsehoods, whether they're harmless white lies serving a purpose or unnecessary fabrications. Here are 5 reasons why individuals may lie, presented without bias. Approach with an open mind, aiming to comprehend these motivations rather than passing judgment on the liar. 1. It feels like an inconvenience. For numerous individuals, being truthful might entail relinquishing control. They might seek to manipulate a situation to sway a decision in their favor, aiming to elicit specific reactions. In certain circumstances, the truth may seem inconvenient. 2. They fear disappointing others. Individuals frequently resort to dishonesty because they wish to avoid disappointing others. Some individuals have high expectations of us, and they may react negatively if things don't align with their preferences. Therefore, to steer clear of conflict or souring relationships, individuals often choose to lie. 3. Lying is important to them. Indeed, this is a primary factor. When someone tells lies, it's likely significant to them. While it may not hold the same importance for you, it carries weight for them. They might be individuals prone to overthinking or imposing undue pressure on themselves. 4. Pathological Liars This falls into a distinct category of dishonesty. Some individuals have a tendency to lie impulsively because they engage in excessive fantasizing. It's a habitual behavior they struggle to control, almost like a compulsion. They might fabricate even the most trivial details, such as the color of their mug or what they wore yesterday, despite these matters being inconsequential. 5. They believe in those lies. When individuals experience pressure, their mental state can become turbulent. They often seek refuge in a fabricated reality within their minds to suit themselves, gradually believing in this alternate scenario. While it may appear as a falsehood to others, to them, it's their perceived truth because they genuinely believe in it. The stress and circumstances they face can profoundly affect their mental well-being. When confronted, 
they may react defensively as their brain rejects the stressful reality being presented to them. 5 Definite Ways In Which Men Test You Before Dating How Men Test You Before Dating Each of us maintains a set of standards and preferences in our dating experiences. We tend to gravitate away from certain traits, actively avoid others, and seek specific qualities in potential partners. Men also conduct assessments, engaging in various behaviors to evaluate compatibility. Here, we outline five definite ways in which they gauge your suitability before pursuing a relationship. 1. Testing your jealousy factor. Men often feel a strong inclination and tendency to gauge your level of jealousy by discussing their female friends. They aim to ascertain that you won't react irrationally or aggressively when they mention other women in their lives. They might even flirt with other women in your presence, testing the boundaries to gauge your response. 2. IQ Test Men aren't necessarily geniuses, but they're not lacking in intelligence either. Nonetheless, they often seek to assess the intelligence of a woman they view as a potential partner. They do this to gauge your ability to engage in stimulating conversations and to see if you'll fit in well with their social circle and family. They might ask for your opinions or political leanings as a way to determine if they can have meaningful intellectual discussions with you. 3. Trying to know your personality. In such instances, men often present various scenarios to you, offering choices to gauge your personality. Whether it's selecting food or navigating a shopping scenario with budget constraints, your preferences and decisions provide insights into your personality. The choices you make and the ideas you gravitate towards offer them a glimpse into your character, providing at least a preliminary understanding. 4. The way your last relationship ended. This serves as a loyalty assessment and an exploration of your past experiences. They seek to understand if you carry deep emotional scars or harbor fears of commitment, and how previous relationships have unfolded for you. Essentially, they're interested in discerning your capacity for loyalty. They won't delve into your innermost issues or attempt to play therapist, but rather observe how you react on the surface level. 5. The Cancellation Test While it may seem bothersome, this behavior is quite prevalent. Men often employ unconventional methods to test you, and surprisingly, it yields results for them. One such tactic is canceling plans at the last minute. What matters to him is how you respond in such situations. He's interested in gauging whether you're independent or clingy. If you react with disappointment and tantrums, revealing a clingy disposition, it may disappoint him. Conversely, if you respond with independence and a carefree attitude, expressing willingness to reschedule, it demonstrates your self-sufficiency and adaptability. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.